This slide illustrates why this headwater erosion is so important to know about. Um, for people that live in areas that are so dependent on water, primarily agricultural areas. Um, this is a diagram that shows two um, consecutive scenes from um, different times. So we've got the top one that shows these two rivers and one is flowing sort of to the left and it is fed by these two tributaries that run to it from um, the north and the south. Uh, the one behind the ridge in purple is obviously flowing to the south. Now, if we um, experience headwater erosion and these small tributaries behind the stream in blue eat away that ridge and actually mine into the purple stream, then anything that is dependent on that purple stream's water downstream will not have it anymore. It will dry up and um, not be fed. Um, this is, you know, a problem when it happens in nature, but what's even worse is when this is done on purpose by humans, and it's done often. So by studying the natural uh, ways in which headwater erosion and other stream, um, st the way they work, then we can decide if it's been uh, done naturally or if it's been caused by someone trying to steal someone else's water.